Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Charlotte and today I'm going to be sharing my whole luxury handbag collection. We are starting with a lower price point of the entry level designer handbags that are around 300 UK pounds. I will leave also the US dollars sign for how much it is on the screen because I know a lot of you guys who watch are also from the US so hello for overseas and thank you for joining me. I am based in the UK if you are new here and my highest price point I have with my handbag collection I'll be sharing today retails for about £2,000. Uh, I did not pay that for it but I'll let you know my little tips and tricks for saving money on buying designer handbags when I get to those pieces but everything will be down below with timestamps because I have about nine neutral bags the rest are all black but I have a feeling this might be a slightly long one so grab yourself a cup of tea, a little bit of bubbles, whatever your choice is and let's get into today's video and before I start don't forget to click like and subscribe and join me here because I'm so happy that we've hit 17,000 and I can't wait to see where this channel goes this year so we'll now get into it. The first handbag I wanted to share with you is my latest in my collection. It's this beautiful Palen Paris handbag. I will leave the style name on the screen and like I said, down in the description with links to all these items. And I picked it up in this beautiful chalk white. It's in a pebbled leather if it's picking up on the camera, which I always try to go for in handbags because I think it wears a little bit better. It's less likely to scratch. They do this style in a lot of different colours. They also do this chalk version with a gold body strap but I wanted to go for something a bit more plain and minimal for wearing in the day so I went for the leather strap as well. Now this is one of the entry level designer bags I would put it at that price point because they're around £300 but the quality of a Palen Paris bag is second to none. They also arrive in beautiful packaging. The brand is minimal with a little bit of a twist, everyday classics and I could not recommend them to you enough. I actually have another Palen Paris bag in this video for you guys but as you will see this strap is adjustable so you can adjust it to fit the length you would desire to wear across your body or if say perhaps you wanted to wear it on your shoulder you could shorten it as well but the most general way I tend to wear this bag is across the body like this I might just zoom you guys in a bit better I generally tend to wear this bag across body I think it is so cute really easy to access as well you can access the bag with your hand like this but if you wanted to make it a little bit easier there's this little clasp at the top that just slides out and then your bag is an open pouch and we don't have any compartments in there there's just the Palen Paris label that you could possibly fit sort of your cards in you know like that little slot at the back of a bag this for me is a mini bag although I can actually fit my iPhone Max so this is the Pro Max, so the biggest phone. It does fit inside the bag because of the shape, as you will see in there. I can also fit like a little coin purse, my keys, a uh, headphone case, and then maybe like a lipstick or something small. But it is, as I would say, a mini bag. But I love these types of bags for, you know, running errands, popping on and go, being hands-free, which is especially something that I look for in a handbag because I have a little one-year-old so I tend to have my baby bag on the pram and my cute fashionable across body. Uh, personally I prefer to hold this bag, I think that's where it really comes into its own. It gives me all the Bottega Jody vibes which is a bag I was considering, well I wanted to get but then the price for that bag on a small bag, although it is absolutely stunning, I just cannot justify that. So this Palen Paris bag for me is my Bottega Jody. And if anything, I think I prefer it even more because it's just really plain. So it goes with so many outfits. They do a few different colors. I love this shape detail we have there. You can also even fit it in the crook of your arm as well if you want to. So you can wear this one crook of your arm across your body. You can hold it and then you could even adjust this strap to make it short to wear it on your shoulders. So many ways you could wear this and I just had to start the video with this bag because I am so in love with it. My second handbag is the Oleada Reverie Hobo Bag and how beautiful is this? It's so multifunctional. If you've not heard of the brand before, they help modern women live their day-to-day -day lives with ease, with minimalistic, beautiful, absolutely unique, gorgeous handbags. These are sophisticated and elegant. They go with so many things and it's just a little bit different to everything else that I've seen around lately. 
Now this handbag retails for 395 US dollars and it can be worn a number of ways. I'm going to obviously show you guys. You can fit a 13 inch laptop in this bag, which I don't have, but for demonstrative purposes, I do have an iPad that you can very easily fit inside the handbag, which also shows just how easy you could get a laptop in there. If you can see inside, we have a zip compartment at the back of the bag with a couple of pockets for popping things in. And then it's split down the middle so you can fit a lot inside this handbag. Even though it's a light handbag, I feel like it's gonna hold up really well. It's made from recycled premium leather. It's so supple and soft. It's also water and scratch resistant, which is great for commuting to and from an office. And also, if like me, you were thinking of using this as a baby bag or everyday bag for chucking everything in and going on the go, it's gonna hold up really beautifully. It does feel so soft. It really is handy having that laptop compartment. The separate bits inside the bag make it really easy to find what you're looking for. So many things fit in this bag and it is such a beautiful shape as well. And I'm gonna show you how you can swap around the handle and get lots of use from this bag because we have a really long strap here that's adjustable as well. Look at this beautiful buckle detailing as well. You might be able to tell I love gold accessories a lot of my bags have gold accessories because I wear a lot of gold and this buckle is such a statement and this wide straps really comfortable as well so whether you are wearing it in the crook of your arm like this or you're holding it top handle personally I really love styling the bag with the handle this way because for me it's got like a very slouchy dumpling vibe about it that I really love about this reverie hobo bag so that's one way you can obviously hold it in your hand you can have it in the crook of your arm and I'm going to adjust the strap now and show you a few different ways that you can wear this bag and just show you how versatile it really is. So as you can see you can easily adjust the bag here the excess from the strap actually folds into this front pocket so everything's kept looking neat and tidy. Here we have the bag worn as a shoulder bag. Like I said, the wide strap just makes it really comfortable even when you've got lots of things in it as well. Now let's do the strap one more time. Let's put it a little bit longer and show you how you can wear this Oleada Reverie Hobo bag as an across body as well. As you can see, it's just so easy to adjust the strap. You could wear this so many ways. That's always something that I look for in a handbag. I want a bag that I can wear lots of ways, get lots of use out of that has a multi-purpose. So this is how the bag also looks across body. I don't feel like it looks too big and too bulky and too heavy if you wear it as an across the body or a messenger bag. And big bags are all the rage right now and of course they're super practical so I'm so excited about getting to use this bag more and I'll just quickly show you as well as well as all the pockets on the inside obviously if you want easy access and finding things the pockets on the outside are also great for popping your phone in and things you just need to reach and grab and go really easily as well so absolutely adore this new bag in my collection. As a brand, Oleada bags are by women, made for women. They are multifunctional, as you will have seen me showing you different ways you can wear this beautiful Reverie Hobo bag. They use sustainable leathers that are recycled. They will stand the test of time in your wardrobe because they're so timeless. And they also have a recycling program if you wanted to send back one of your much loved bags, you get a voucher to put towards a new one and they will properly recycle and reuse that handbag, which is such a great concept. If you head across to the website, there'll be a link below. They have got lots of different styles and they also do the Reverie Hobo in a smaller size as well. The next neutral handbag that I have in my luxury handbag collection is this beautiful Strathbury box crescent shoulder bag and if you are after a bag that's maybe more of an evening bag or a go-to dressy type of vibe so if you're wanting to elevate any outfit basically that's the word that I'm looking for Strathbury designs are so beautiful I love this piercing effect that we have on the front of the bag. I love how boxy and structured it also is. This is in a cream color. As you'll see, we have sort of two off-white creamy tones. I feel that works really well with neutrals. I personally love pairing whites and creams together as well. And this bag is literally a piece of art. Again, I like the fact that it's very multifunctional that you can adjust and use the straps. 
inside I've got some stuffing still in there because I do like to pad out my handbags when I'm storing them just to keep their shape but we have one big open space and then a little bit at the back there that again you could pop maybe like your cards in or a smaller phone again my iPhone Max Pro Plus whatever iPhone it is fits in it's the biggest phone it's a pretty beefy phone and it also has a little thing on the back that makes it wider but I can pop my phone in there and as you can see it fits across the width so again this bag is more of a small little mini bag basically for my phone but it can fit a large phone in as well as a wallet some keys and maybe a lipstick and a powder but that's all you're going to get in this bag get rid of this <laughs> they also do a larger version that's slightly bigger and longer if that's something that would appeal to you more again we have straps which are detachable so you can wear them both in the bag at the same time which i quite like because i think it looks quite nice uh, with that gold chain hanging down i tend to personally wear it on the shoulder like this keep the gold chain on for a little bit of extra detailing again we have a really thick nice strap that's comfortable and chunky on your arm it's got this really nice structure vibe to it uh, you couldn't really wear this strap across the body because it's a little bit short but you could use the metal strap across body if you wanted to i'll show you it on me i feel like it's maybe a bit short and one thing about this chain is that it does get a little bit twisted don't know if it'll show up on camera but it's all twisted around here so it can take a little bit of straightening out or I tend just to pop it over with a little bit of a twist in it anyway. For reference I'm 5'8", five 5'9", foot five foot so you can see where this bag sits on me. Again if you were wearing it across body you could take, unclip this strap if you wanted it to maybe sit a little bit more flush or to use just as an evening bag and just use the gold chain. Having the options with the straps is something that I look for in a bag. You could also use this as a clutch bag if you wanted to take all of the straps off. That would be really nice as well. This would be a really versatile handbag to take on holiday with you. Comes around the £500 mark. So we're going halfway to £1,000. A little bit more than the Palerme Paris bags. But again, uses beautiful leather. This has a slight, again, creased pebbled effect to it. So I feel like it hasn't scratched when I've used it so far. Uh, absolutely adore this. Can't could recommend Strathbury again, they're a great lower price point handbag. If you're looking for a little bit of luxury, something that's a little bit different than a leather bag on the high street. And again, like I said, I just love the structure of the box crescent bags, but they have lots and lots and lots and lots of styles on their website. Moving from whites to browns, I have my Chloe Tess handbag. And as soon as this was added to my handbag collection about December last year, I can leave a video link below, where I first introduced this absolute beauty of a handbag. I don't know why I've not had a Chloe handbag before. This is so beautifully made. The leather is so gorgeous. I get so many compliments on this bag. I think because of all the amazing gold hardware details that we have. Again, it's a very classic timeless style, a little bit like a saddle bag, but this was really unique. I thought it stood out as a really nice tone brown because it's light it's not too light and again it's not too dark and it's not something I had in my handbag collection uh, because I've already built up a strong base of black handbags over the past like six seven years now I'm starting to find I'm experimenting more with neutral colors it has the beautiful gold big what would you call this a horse bit like a big bull's nose ring detailing there and we have lots of sort of other gold details on it again the straps are detachable on this so I like to wear it with all straps together but you don't have to this big across body strap again is nice and chunky as you can see here it's adjustable you can really easily adjust it the fastening inside the bag is a little latch magnetic closure and inside we have two compartments this front bit here which again really doesn't fit anything I probably can just fit say if I'm keeping my cards loose in there at the moment I just have my Chloe authenticity card which I tend to keep in my bag so I don't lose them and then inside we just have a little big space and again that slight card holder piece at the back I'm going to call it a card holder piece I don't know what I should be calling it but again like I say you could just fit your cards in it and it tends has the branding on it inside it is a canvas and outside we have this leather one downside to the bag you might be able to tell while I'm talking you through it is that 
it is quite noisy but I don't tend to notice that while I'm using it because the ways I will wear it is either on the shoulder like this I just think it looks really nice it completes any outfit and then across body because like I said it's handy to keep my hands free especially with a toddler so for day in the day I would tend to wear the handbag across my body and again we have an adjustable strap and I'm five for eight, five for nine for reference but I think it sits on a really nice point. If I was wearing a chunky coat in winter I would tend to extend the strap so it sits a little bit nicer but as you will pick up on the camera this gold like buckle detailing is just so beautiful it really elevates any outfit. It's quite a practical everyday bag obviously you can't fit the world in it but I will show you for example with my phone the space you have left. I'll do this with the majority of handbags in this video so you can get an idea for how much room a phone takes up. So again, this is the iPhone Plus, the biggest size that they do, and it just slots in luckily that way. But then you can see there is some space around it again. I would call this a small bag, the fact you can just fit in your phone, your keys, your wallet, and a little bit of makeup. But basically the bare essentials that you tend to carry around with you anyway. I would say I reach to this one most on a basis of when we're going out, maybe like casual drinks, dinner or things like that. I tend to just reach for this handbag because I think it elevates any look and it's not too dressy if I'm just going to the pub. I also love to hold it in the crook of my arm like this. It's something a little bit unique because of the colour and like I said I always get so many compliments on this bag and it's making me want more Chloe handbags in my collection. So this retails for £1,390. Again, I'll leave the US dollar marks on the screen. Hopefully, I'm not blabbing on too long because this is going to be a very long video. <laughs> the second brown handbag in my luxury handbag collection, and actually the first brown handbag that I added, is my Acne Studios Masubi bag. I'm a sucker for Acne Studios, and I have been for very many years I wanted that leather jacket for over a decade before I took the plunge and I just love how the brand is minimal and timeless and that Scandinavian vibe obviously but just a little bit of an extra added detail to a plain handbag so for example the Acne Masuria bag is a little bit like a bucket bag I would call it a small to medium bag although they do call this style the, smi the mini they have a micro, a mini and a small or maybe even a shoulder bag. But I would not necessarily call this a small bag because it's a lot bigger, I can fit more in it. Again, I can fit my big phone. We have two compartments that split down the middle. I have actually done a separate video on this, so I will leave that one linked below so I won't go into too much detail that tells you all about this handbag um, but I can also fit in my camera, so my little Canon EOS 50, a bit similar to a G7X with a bigger lens on it. I can fit that in there as well, sunglasses, a little bit of makeup, my keys, my money again. So this is a little bit more practical. We have this Japanese knot detailing on the sides, which is what really adds a beautiful, intriguing element to this bag. I'm debating getting it in white as well. I tend to just hold it with the handle here, again, is nice and thick and feels really durable. Wear and tear on this bag's been really good. I've got no scratches, no marks on it. We have a slightly pebbled effect leather again. You can style it in the crook of your arm, although it is a little bit tight there, but you can still get away with using it like that. And then we have a thick adjustable strap, again, that you can wear on your shoulder and across the body being five foot eight, five foot nine. I don't think this sits at a silly point. When I first got it, I thought I might not be able to wear it across body, but you totally can. It's really comfortable again, because we have this thick strap and you can easily access things that you have inside your bag. We have a zip compartment in the middle if you want to keep something a bit more safe, two compartments either side. We do also have a clasp of detail if you wanted to make it a little bit harder for someone to dip their hands into, but to be honest, I don't ever really use that. I've never had any issues with this bag when it comes to accessibility or worrying about how safe items that I own are. And I absolutely love this bag. Again, cannot recommend this so much. I've recently sold a few bags here and there on Depop 
to put towards some new handbags which will be making their way to my channel very soon so make sure you subscribe for more handbag videos and luxury unboxings. So what I'm sharing with you today is basically creation of my favourite styles and I would recommend any and all of these handbags to you guys but if you have any questions let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram at Charlotte Buttrick and we can talk all things handbags. Moving on to a slightly larger bag, again great for everyday use, I also use this one as baby bag sometimes, I'll use this to the gym, I'll use this if I go shopping, I'll use this if I go and stay over on a night away somewhere and I have a little suitcase, I'll pop this on the top and it is my Mulberry Bays Water Tote and I have it in this blush pink colour, I can't remember the exact shade um, and I picked mine up from Cheshire Oaks which is a discount shopping village very much like Bista Village if you're from the UK, uh, but it's closer to Cheshire where I live. Uh, and I picked up this handbag for £350. I think that's all it was, £350. So that was a massive saving. I don't know if it's because the colour was being discontinued, but I think it's a really lovely neutral. I have been asked about the colour of this handbag before, and I'm not sure if they do actually make it anymore which is a little bit of a shame uh, I think the bags used to be 695 as well full retail price but I think they've gone up in price I'll just make sure I'm leaving the correct price on the screen but I've had quite a lot of use of this bag I will leave again the solo video all about this beautiful handbag when I first got it linked below if you want to know more about it but it's just in general a really nice leather tote bag again made from that pebbled leather so I basically have no scratching to it I'd say if I was being asked about the wear and tear on this bag let me just move that nappy out of there. It's mainly the red suede on the inside um, because when I've put lighter things in there before, say for example, a headphone cover case that was neutral rubber, it came out and it was all red and it's been stained because of the inside of the bag is this ox blood suede, which is beautiful and soft, but obviously the color can wear off. So you have to bear that in mind. It has a pouch inside, which is detachable. The edges here have curled up uh, over time from use of lifting the flap up and down. I did originally think I could use it as a clutch bag separately but I'm not sure if I would now from how the leather is curled up but that's just a good addition to have to keep say your keys and your money separate in your bag so you're not looking around trying to find everything because it is quite big. You can fit a 15 inch laptop in here, loads of things. I can fit my trainers, like I said, I can use it for the gym. The straps have held up really well considering how much I've used it. I've had it a couple of years now, three years maybe. The straps are literally nowhere at all. The stitching has stayed light as well. So this handbag has lasted really well. Uh, one thing I will note this, even though I leave it stuffed, and you might see if I hold it here, even though I leave this stuffed in my wardrobe, at the back the leather has not collapsed but you know dinted in slightly and it's the same at this side so it's not as structured as it used to be and no matter how much I pop in this handbag to pad it out it always does that at the back so it has like you see it's gone in at the back but it's still structured at the front but you can expect that with leather over use and obviously means I've used this handbag, but you could wear it in the crook of your arm. I tend to find that feels quite heavy because the straps are thin, they can dig in your arm. So the only way that I really tend to use this bag is as an on the shoulder bag. If I'm out and about shopping, running errands, I want to chuck it over my shoulder, or I will literally hold it by the handles if I'm say walking from the car to the gym, X, Y, Z, whatever. But I think it is a beautiful bag. I love mulberry bags, such good quality. As you can see, not cleaned my bags before this video like I said and the metal doesn't really have any scratching on it either considering how much it's been used and just a great bag to add to your collection. I originally wanted the Louis Vuitton Neverfull which always seems to be out of stock and keeps on going up in price as well and is a lot more expensive than this bag so if you're looking for a beautiful luxury leather tote bag under £1,000 then I can definitely recommend the Bayswater Mulberry Tote and I would definitely recommend getting to a discount shopping village like Bista Village or going to Cheshire Oaks wherever your local similar place is or buying one of these second hand because like I said it's held up really well and I'm never going to get rid of this bad boy in my collection. Sticking with totes I have this beautiful milliner tote 
bag and as you can see we have this beautiful weave it's in a suede material for my sins although I've actually managed to keep it pretty clean I feel like maybe there's a little bit of wear and tear on the handles where the suede has gone not bobbly I don't know if that will pick up but otherwise the colour is actually perfect I haven't sprayed this bag at all and I'll be completely honest, I have not been light of hand with this bag like I am not with any of my handbags. I'm quite heavy handed. Like I said, I have a toddler. I've even actually used this as a changing bag before and managed to keep it clean. Don't ask me how I did. Uh, but again, we have pretty similar size to the Mulberry tote bag. This is maybe feels a little bit bigger because it's that slouchy leather because it's suede, obviously. And then inside we have canvas and I've actually got it stuffed out with um, d lots of dust bags basically because this does not hold its shape at all as you could probably guess. The corners of the bag have held up really well. It is quite weighty and quite heavy but it's just so beautiful. If you wanted a tote bag that is elevated, that is very different to anything else you could find on the high street or even on the luxury handbag market, I feel like this Milena tote is very similar to a Dragon Diffusion bag if you've not seen them but they tend to be made of leather whereas this is like that really nice slouchy suede I do feel if I wear it with darker colours that little bits of the suede can come off on your outfit if that completely makes any sense so I feel like getting fluff or dog hairs on an outfit if I wear this with a black outfit I feel like it can leave a little bit of like fluffy suede <laughs> on the outfit but it's so beautiful it pairs really well with all my neutrals again a great throw on your shoulder and go handbag if you like the slouchy effortless feel as well I tend to again only wear it on my shoulder because it can feel a little bit heavy or sometimes even support the handbag underneath with my hand it fits loads in you could fit a huge laptop in there you could fit a few laptops in there of course it would make it a lot heavier but you have one big compartment and then we have two zip compartments either side of the bag so again you could separate and easily find what you're after just really beautiful to look at not as practical as my other tote bag but I wouldn't see myself getting rid of this anytime soon you can also carry it as well use it as like that fluffy pillow bag vibe that's very popular at the moment and it's just a really nice one to have in my collection not much else I can really think to tell you guys about this bag moving on to a handbag that hasn't had the love that it deserves but I'm not ready to give up on her yet I first got this beautiful LMA handbag in lockdown so a couple of years ago so she only really got seen in photos she's not been seen by anybody else really yet and I don't know why I need to wear her more. Uh, the size isn't great. Again, it's a small bag, but I feel like because of the shape, she's a little bit like a dumpling bag. I think she's called the Bezo bag. Of course, I'll leave details on screen. I think I purchased her for about the 350, 375 pound mark. Found a discount online, I'm pretty sure. With this sort of bracelet leather strap, which has obviously held up really well because I've not really used this beautiful bag. It's not maybe the most practical because I've got quite large hands and I feel like it's hard to get in and out and this gets in the way um, and you can't really clip it off. You can actually clip it together to close the bag shut even tighter which make it even harder to get your hand in. So that is one design flaw I would say about this bag. Don't even know if my phone will actually fit in this one because I've not tried my new phone in it. Let's do the phone test. So. We can get the big phone in there. Inside we have one big main compartment. If I move that out of the way, we have one big main compartment where you see my phone at the bottom. Then there's also a little flap piece here. You probably won't be able to see it, which I presume again is for slotting your phone in. So a separate little side pocket compartment. So you can't fit the world and the earth in this bag. But again, this is something I would reach to for a cute sort of summer's day bag I think a nice long black flowy dress going for a picnic I just love being able to hold a bag by the top handle I think that's really cute this for me had a very 
Fendi vibe when I bought it from the shape of it like the Fendi peekaboo and again we have an adjustable strap which you can unclip so if you wanted to be a little bit more fancy take her out for dinner I would unclip the straps and hold her as a little bag you can also get away with wearing her in the crook of your arm this is a little bit similar to the Pelham Paris bag in size but this is less practical because it's hard to get in and out of because this handle obviously just can get in the way but she does look really nice worn across body as well like this again sits at a really good level you can extend it make it a little bit longer you can make the strap shorter if you're a little bit more petite this has as well something I love in a handbag we have little studs at the bottom which is probably why this handbag would hold quite well for a raffia bag because when you pop it on the floor those little studs are going to protect it in the corner of the leathers that you have and again it just looks really nice really effortless you can easily pop in to get your phone so if like me normally you just have a bag for your phone and your keys and money you can get in it a little bit easier when it's across your body like this because as you can see you can just dip in and out and i need to make sure that i use her a lot more I feel as well it's nice to have some brands that not everybody has and hopefully you'll see some different brands in this video today rather than just your standard designer luxury brands which of course I have as well uh, but it is nice to have something a little bit different and the quality of this just feels really nice the leather is really soft we have some thick stitching under the handle there that I feel would make it really hard wearing and I'm going to make sure that I get more wear out this beautiful bag this summer. My second straw raffia bag is from Mun. Pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Again, a Parisian brand. Uh, not entirely sure of the price mark of this basket bag. I will leave it on the screen. If you follow me over on Instagram at Charlotte Buttrick, make sure you go there and check me out. I post every day, daily outfits, lots of different ways to wear and inspiration. I do did do, not sure how to phrase this, have the Loewe basket bag, which you will have seen in my spring wardrobe essentials video if you are a subscriber and someone, i.e. meaning our puppy dog Bo, may have chewed the corner when we went out for lunch with friends. I had it hung over the back of my chair. I was seeing to roam and feeding him his lunch, a little bit distracted and didn't realise he was nibbling on the corner. So hopefully that can be repaired but I don't have the highest hopes with it being raffia and maybe now I've learned the lesson not to spend a lot of money on a raffia handbag because the Loewe bags were about 4 50 but I had managed to get mine on Vestia Collective for half price and that's something I want to do with future handbags is get more into secondhand market like buying pre-loved and giving a handbag a new home and of course saving some money on the way and being more sustainable so if you've got any tips for shopping secondhand bags let me know in the comments below also let me know if you'd like to see that here on my channel but we have this beautiful basket bag uh, which I haven't dusted off from last year so there might be little bits of dust on the handles because we have material running through sort of canvas material across the bag but a beautifully really tight woven quite thick like as in it's quite dense straw weave in a triangle shape and inside we have long straps as well so again this is a very multifunctional bag the last time I used it is I took it on holiday so we have a little leather strap here so you can tie the handles together and you can wear this across your shoulder like this it's a great one to chuck on for going to the beach you can fit beach towel sun cream a book everything you need in here I use it when we went away to Spain last year on a first family holiday so I also had nappies and other bits in here straps are a bit too short to wear across body but of course then we have other basket bag for wearing in the crook of your arm for holding by your hand this one actually fits in more than my Eloeve bag did and inside it already comes with a sort of canvas handbag so you can keep things safe in your bag you can either have it hanging over the sides here for another little effect a little bit like a handkerchief style or when you have items in your bag you could tie this up if you wanted to keep things inside your bag a little bit more secure so people can't just dip their hands in and take things out they'd have to dip their hands in and take the whole canvas bag out so again Mun have a lot of different styles they do this bag in a smaller style I'm pretty sure as well beautifully made cannot recommend enough 
I was just drawn into getting the Loewe bag from seeing everybody else with it and also the fact it had brown leather on because I feel I would prefer this bag with maybe the white canvas. I would wear it more but again the black handles are more practical so another bag I'm hoping to get more use out of this summer and it's kind of making me want to go for a picnic. Managed to make it this far. Pat on the back, thanks for sticking with me and I hope you've actually found my description of these handbags are useful because that is the whole point of this video. But moving on to my first black luxury handbag is the black YSL monogram bag. And I'm pretty sure they do not make this style anymore. They've updated it with the college handbag. It's pretty similar apart from it has a top handle and also I think it's made of harder leather. This is like a really soft lamb skin in a chevron print. And as you will see, it's actually held up really well. Um, I've taken it on holiday, I've dropped it on the floor before and scuffed it a few times so you'll probably see wear and tear on the actual YSL logo although there's no wear and tear on the gold straps that we have here that have leather handles at the top so make it a little bit more comfortable for wearing as you will see it's really soft leather so the bag isn't very structured um, but I've had this for a long time now I think I've had her for about seven years and she is still my go-to evening bag Fun fact, I actually bought this handbag pre-loved from Lydia Elise Millen, which is, if you're a regular on YouTube, I'm sure you know who she is. Uh, I bought it direct from her. I bought it for a thousand pounds, and I think at the time it retailed for about 1600. It just sits so perfectly on the shoulder. Again, we have the adjustable strap that you can wear across the body like this. Like I said, the leather's really soft, but I don't feel like it's scratched much. And I have seen the new handbags by YSL like the college versions and the leather's a lot more stiffer it doesn't feel as expensive and the chains on them feel a little bit more cheaper so I don't know if they've changed the way that they make their bags uh, over the years uh, but I'm so in love with this one we do have wear and tear on the corners if I can show you actually only very slight so I don't know if it'll show up but we do have some wear and tear on the corners but like I said I've had this for about seven years she has been everywhere with me a little bit more wear and tear there a little bit more wear and tear here I probably need to take her to a handbag like TLC repair place. We have a pouch at the back here that I always tend to pop my phone in and it still fits the larger size phone because it's just easy to grab and go. And then inside we have one big compartment. I just have the dust bag in there. And again at the back, a little card compartment that I can fit in my phone. Normally my keys are purse, just a couple of makeup bits just the essentials, everything you need for a going out bag. But it's also nice to sort of dress up a day outfit with a more glam bag. And as you can see, it comfortably sits across the shoulder. And I would happily have a lot more YSL bags in my collection. Now this bag, I believe, is not in production anymore, this exact style, but the new version is. So this, again, is a very well-loved handbag. I've had this Balenciaga mini city bag in suede, which is something that's quite unique about this, for about eight years now and eight years on with a suede bag i feel like she's held up quite well again i've been quite heavy handed with her i will see if the camera will focus you can see the wear and tear again there on the corners of the handbag because most likely i've been out drunk with her i put her on the floor i've had a little dance around her so there are some marks to the suede but they're very minimal they tend to be at the back of the bag i always hold her by the top handles as well and I don't feel like that suede has ruined too much considering it's been eight years. I have not cleaned this. I've not done anything to her. I should probably be a little bit more precious, but things are for wearing and they're not for buying and saving for best. We have the black and gold, which just has my heart. This handbag is so beautiful. I kind of love the fact that it's not available anymore. So it's something a little bit different. It's not something I ever see myself selling. We have a front pocket, which I've never used. And then inside, we actually have quite a bit of space in here. Um, which is filled again with dust bags. Uh, we have one big compartment and a zip compartment at the back for keeping things safe. I can fit my phone in here. I used to be able to fit my Canon G7X in here as well. So this would be a handbag that I'd use if we were going out shooting. We have this detachable strap again. So you can wear her across the body. Again, it's adjustable. It fits a really nice hands-free length. Adds a kind of like biker chick vibe to an outfit I feel. I need to use her more because she is absolutely stunning. You can of course again 
hold them by the handles you can put them in the crook of your arm again it's just one of those little small mini bags that carries all the essentials but big plus for me carries my iPhone plus because I had to recently sell this beautiful Jacquemus bag that I adored because I didn't consider that my brand new phone would not fit in it and there's no point keeping handbags in your collection if they're not practical no matter how beautiful they are. Back to the more entry level designer handbags. This is my second Palen Paris handbag that I have. This is the Numero 10, I'm pretty sure. It's like a half moon crescent bag. Gives me slight the row banana slouch bag vibe, but this one is more structured. So like I said, we have this half moon shape here with a structured zip. The leather is pebbled. I feel like it doesn't mark. I've used this bag so much. I haven't cleaned her and I feel like she's standing up really well. We have the minimal branding on the front there and inside the bag we have again a little compartment here to push a card and then your main compartment which is a really nice sort of suede feeling effect and um, it's neutral it's not marked from what I can see and again I will literally just chuck in open concealers open lipsticks everything in my bags. This one's really easy to clean and wipe down with a wet wipe which I have done before it comes with two straps so there is also a longer strap which you can get to make this an even longer across the body uh, but personally that isn't my vibe so i just have the one strap that i use and keep on the bag but the other strap uh, can easily be switched around and they're all adjustable so you can actually wear this handbag four ways but i personally only tend to wear it two ways so the two ways that i will wear this handbag is either across the body here and I feel it sits really snugly under the bust and this is why it reminds me of the Moreau Banana bag. Cos also do a really beautiful real leather bag for about £100 if you wanted to look at that one if this was the style you were after. This Pullen bag uh, retails for again about £300 mark. They have so many different colours. I feel like it's a really hard wearing beautiful leather as well and um, so if like me you scratch things you're heavy handed you don't have to worry about that but i just think it adds an effortlessly cool vibe to an outfit so you can wear it across the body like that or you can shorten the straps even more so how we shorten the straps is you will see we have a gold stud press a little bit like a belt buckle and i'm going to now put this on to the tightest strap and pull it down and when you do this i love how the excess bit of the strap hangs down now it's a little bit bent because obviously how i have been wearing the bag lately but if you were to leave your handbag for a little bit that would straighten out again and when she is looking all cute like this a little bit like a saddlebag vibe with the half moon you can pop her on your shoulder and she fits just perfectly uh, really comfortable to wear this makes a really nice evening bag or if you were going on a trip abroad and you wanted to pack light and you wanted a bag to wear a crossbody in the day that you could shorten, that you can wear on your shoulder, wear as an evening bag, then she is your gal. She's absolutely stunning. Like I said, the straps will just be a little bit bent because of how I've been wearing her lately, but I found that then if I swap the strap over, maybe like leave her hanging over the corner of like a door handle, and then these straps will sort of uncrease if that makes any sense but such a beautiful bag and so again versatile something i look for in my bags it also comes in a black with a white stitching which is really nice in a more smooth leather there's lots of different colors available on the website and again if you're looking for a low price point entry designer handbag go and check out Palen paris i cannot recommend them enough they have so many styles and if you do i would love to know what your favorite Palen paris bag is because i would love to add another one to their collection I feel like I don't really buy handbags on a whim but this one was and I'm not really sure why I think I was maybe getting a little bit crazy in lockdown again this is another handbag I bought in lockdown and although it's not the most practical of bags I will keep her because she's cute she's very 90s she's like a baguette bag she's super light easily can throw on over the shoulder like this this is probably a handbag I would tend to take on holiday with me because it packs easily it's nylon so it's going to be easy to clean and we have this one strap which actually 
detaches at one side although I'm not sure why because you can't take it off the other although I have actually used this inside my tote bags before and then I've clipped it on to the inside of the bag so I don't lose it and then I've just used this as like a big sort of purse inside we have one big compartment with a zip pocket at the back if you can see you can't fit much in here she's not very practical but she does make a very nice evening bag I wonder if I could get a little chain strap like the one on my Strathbury bag and wear her crossbody like that or maybe even thread her into a thin belt as a belt bag so there's maybe some ways that you could have a little play around with this one I do wish she was a little bit bigger but I won't be getting rid of her because I just think she's really cute like I said easy to add into other handbags to keep things secure just easily chuck on and go on holiday and I'll probably just mainly use her for evenings and a holiday bag around £300 when I bought this handbag and I believe now they've gone up to about £600 which is absolutely ridiculous I would not pay that price for that, this bag and even £300 is a stretch but it is because it's Prada so not going to get rid of her but I do think I would have been better with one of the bigger nylon shoulder bags uh, but I was just obviously drawn to the black and gold detailing my favourite black bag of the moment is this Calf Oon I think I'm pronouncing it properly, handbag, which again is a beautiful French brand. I'm loving all the French brands for handbags. They're a little bit different as well, something a little bit unique and something that not everybody has. And they have a few different styles on the website, go check them out. I went for this handbag because for me, I thought this is the closest I am going to get to a Hermes bag. And it's got a couple of similarities, but a couple of differences as well. It's that very elegant, elegated elegant sophisticated structured bag which has a top handle and also a detachable across body strap and this little clasp opening is what made me think about a Hermes bag Hermes Hermes bag um this little sort of lock detailing here inside again very structured we have one big compartment and a zip compartment there but we also have a zip compartment at the back which I'll be completely honest I've never used uh, but we have the little bag studs again which I think will make this bag stand the test of time not only is the leather so beautiful it is smooth but I actually don't think I've managed to scratch it so far and I tend to have this hanging down and dangling and it doesn't get in the way you will see this styled over on my Instagram a number of ways uh, the across body strap is adjustable saying I don't have any scratches I've actually just noticed one here if that one's picking up on the camera there that I've obviously probably caught with a bracelet or a watch but I think I could easily buff that out and wearing it across the body this is the strap again it is adjustable so you can move it around but this is how the handbag looks across the body I don't think it looks too big and again I think it looks quite nice when it's open and then we'll hoop that loop there it just adds that little extra detail really easy to use hands free and put in the strap maybe digs in a little bit here on your rib but to be honest i don't tend to wear it across the body that often and wearing it over my shoulder this is how it sits over the shoulder i feel like this bag as well would be great as an office bag if you didn't need a bag to put your laptop in but just needed your essentials and wanted something that looked a bit more structured this would work really well from work to the weekend or from the office to going out to drinks you could simply pop it in the crook of your arm and this is my favorite way to wear the bag and have it open I just love that vibe you'll see a lot of people doing that with the Hermes bags which is possibly where they got the inspiration for this lock closing and this additional little piece we have there but there's a lot of different ways you can wear this bag it's absolutely stunning they do a small version that I love this is the stance bag it comes in about 500 pounds again beautifully crafted leather a really nice handbag something a little bit different that always gets compliments and is more of a small medium sized bag so I can fit more in this my filming camera actually also fits in this as well so I tend to take this handbag out when we go out shooting content I told you I liked a Parisian brand my next black handbag is my Sen Rev Aria belt bag and again I had a separate video on this handbag that I did when I first received it with different ways you can wear it so I'll leave that link down below but in essence it is like a structured clutch bag that has a belt running through it so you can wear it different ways you can wear it as a belt bag of course like a bum bag 
on your clothes or you can wear it across the body you can adjust the strap you can take the strap off and you can also use it as a clutch bag I will be honest I have not used this for a while now but I will be taking this on holiday it's great for traveling because you can obviously wear it across your body uh, take it as an additional bag a little bit like a wallet on a chain inside this is such beautiful soft suede outside again is a pebbled leather so there's no scratching on this and uh, it comes in a lot of different colors as well it's still available we have a card holder on this side so you can not have to take a purse zip bit at the back and this open compartment let's do the test because obviously i've not tried to fit this phone in this bag and it fits with ease so absolutely fabulous i can continue to use it also has a little pouch at the front there Again, a nice different way to wear a hands-free and I feel like I might get a lot more use out of it using as a clutch bag or again as a bag inside a bag. I could pop this inside one of my, my larger bags. But it feels a lot secure having this. Uh, I recently styled it as a belt bag with a skirt which you can see again over on my Instagram for ways to wear all of these handbags and go and watch that review video below if you want to see more ways that you can wear this cute little belt bag. Isn't she a beauty? This is the YSL Sac Du Jour that I picked up from Bista Village. These, since I got her, again, you will see her in an unboxing video on my channel. I look a lot different because it was a long time ago. How long have I had her? Again, maybe five, about five years maybe. Um, and I got her for a thousand pounds and they retail for about 2000. So got her half the price, especially because she's an all black handbag and usually at Bista Village you can find uh, some random colors. So we have all black leather with mock croc detailing. So the mock croc detailing is at the side of the bag mock crop detailings on the handles also on the little lock chain there and we have very subtle branding because the Saint Laurent is just embossed rather than in the silver lettering which I was drawn to being more of a golden girl with my jewellery and accessories but I wasn't I was umming and ahhing over this bag because obviously I got about five six years ago my style was a bit different I was a little bit younger I thought I really want the Nano, do I want this size? But I did fall in love with the bag and I thought it would be a great investment and I was right because now it is a bag that I reach to more. I'm a little bit older. I don't think it looks as corporate as I maybe originally thought. It looks really nice in the crook of your arm like this. It is a more substantial sized handbag for carrying more things around with me. It's very structured so I feel like it's timeless. It has feet on the bottom that stops it from wearing. As you will see, I have basically no wear on the corners of the bag whatsoever. I do have some scratching, light scratching on the leather if it's gonna pick up with this being soft leather. And I used to actually use this as a work bag. Bo also managed to get his teeth into this bag. Um, it might not pick up on camera. There is a couple of teeth marks in the handles, but because it's that harder leather, I think it can be hidden quite easily and it is at the back of the bag and I just put a little bit of clear nail varnish on the straps you might pick up here where they've slightly been chewed but I'm not planning on ever selling this bag so I don't have to worry about that with resale and I'm pretty sure I can get away with it being unnoticeable this also comes with a detachable across the body strap which you cannot change uh, it's not adjustable it's just the one length you can easily pop this bag over your shoulder which is what I tend to do when I'm going out shopping and I take this bag with me or you can fit it across the body but again the handles dig in at a slight awkward length personally on me um, but if you need to maybe move the bag out of the way while you're doing a bit of shopping you're looking around you can do if I put it over my shoulder I tend to wear it more there so then it's not interfering with anything and it just keeps it out of the way and inside it's quite a slim bag although it's quite a wide bag it is quite slim but inside we have a lot of compartments we have a zip middle two compartments either side and then some zip compartments also i can fit my ipad in here but i couldn't fit a laptop so this is the ipad air I think it's 11 inches and that slots inside the bag as you'll see there so if you were thinking of using that for a work bag I can also get my phone and my essentials in here my filming camera just fits in here uh, but it does get quite heavy with the iPad it's quite heavy and with it having a thin strap it's going to maybe cut into your shoulder a little bit but I can do if I need to so I can take her to 
business meetings. Let's manifest that. I can take her to meetings. I can take her out for when I'm wanting to be a little bit more smart and sophisticated, but you can easily dress this bag down, which is why I'm hoping to get a baby or a nano sac de jour. Let's keep my fingers crossed for this virtual call that I have with Bista Village this week and hopefully I'll be adding a neutral sac de jour to my wardrobe depending what stock they have but if I do I'll obviously make sure that I do an unboxing video and you can keep up to date with me over on my Instagram like I've already mentioned. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching my luxury handbag collection. Do make sure that you like and subscribe. Let me know your dream handbag in the comments below. Also, what is your favorite handbag from my luxury handbag collection? And if you would like any individual videos for styling or in-depth review what's in my bag for anything that I own, because I would love to help you guys out if you want some more information on purchasing a handbag and my DMs on Instagram are always open. So I think that is enough for a very mammoth video today and thank you for joining me. I will see you guys very soon.